Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR, HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. Welcome to Holistic Living with Jamie. I'm your host, Jamie Feldstein, and I'm really excited today to introduce you to Alpha Biotics. Yes, say that word three times fast. Bruce Fulford, Dr. Bruce Fulford is in the house, and he is an Alpha Bioticist and a clinical nutritionist. Welcome, Bruce. Thank you very much. I'm really glad that you're here. I know you have a very busy practice, and for you to take off the morning was not easy. You even brought your table, so I get to have an adjustment as soon as the show is over. You have such an amazing healing story, and before we go into that and, and talk to people about alphabiotics, I was introduced to Bruce through a friend about five months ago, and It has helped me tremendously. I have herniated discs in my neck and shoulder tears as a result of playing tennis for mm, 25, 30 years and was not going to go the surgery route, have tried all these other different um, alternative methods for healing. And I found out about alphabetics, which Bruce will um, discuss a lot about it. And there are maybe 3,000, Bruce, in the world of alphabeticists. Perhaps I think, you, I think even less. Even, even less. I think even less. Yeah. So, first, I think to start off, what does alphabetics mean, and how does it work? Firstly, you're welcome for me closing my practice today. Um, <laughs> I really don't mind about that. The fact that there are ten foot waves out in Malibu is is more of an issue for me. I know. But I was thinking about that. <laughs> We're, we'll we, we can get you out there. We're close to the okay. beach the anyway. That's picking up. It's done. Um, I went out this morning. Good. Um, and you'll be talking about a surfing incident that affected yes. you and how alphabetics has helped with that. So. This is true. And secondly, let me apologize. They, they couldn't figure out the filter for the accent today. So I normally have an American accent, but <laughs> hopefully you can understand me. And I'm not Australian. I'm South African. So there we go. There you go. Okay. So question, what is alphabetics? Yes. What is alphabetics? So alphabetics has developed... Over, I guess, a couple of decades by a doctor named Dr. Virgil Crane. And he he was a chiropractor from Texas many years ago. Sorry, that's my bulldog in the background. And um, he wanted to figure out a way to... He started studying uh, the correlation between stress and what it does to our bodies. And um, so he... He sort of went on this journey, he was doing pre and post brain scans and x-rays and everything and trying to figure out a way to really affect the brain, the nervous system, as opposed to moving bones, and eventually came up with this this technique, which became uh, alphabetics. And um, it's it's essentially, basically what happens with stress is we go into this fight-or-flight pattern, and that affects, we all have a dominant brain hemisphere, it, it, it creates this brain lateralized state and we, and we lock into whatever our dominant, state, our dominant brain hemisphere is, which I'd say about most of us are you know, 80% left brain dominant. Um, left brain, as you probably know, controls the right side of the body. So if you're left brain mm-hmm. dominant, it creates, it's, it's, stress is an accumulative thing, right? It's kind of like you're sitting in the boat and you've got these little holes coming into the little dinghy and it's fine and over time little water is coming in, but eventually it becomes a problem and you sink and that's, and that's essentially what we're dealing with now and our stress levels are just shooting up. And, and he started noticing every five or ten years how, how his work wasn't holding as much as it used to. Um, and as a chiropractor. Yeah, mm-hmm. as doing traditional adjustments. Um, and, uh, so anyway, so left brain dominant state, right brain, uh, right body tension, essentially. So mm-hmm. if you carry the load on the left side of the brain, the whole right side of your body, all those muscle cells react. It's just that neurological pattern. It's essentially just doing what it's told to do. 
and it goes into that pattern and it just tightens up, right? So, that, mm-hmm. so the whole right side of the body tightens up, which means your shoulder comes up, your hip comes up, your leg becomes short. Um, and then on the other side of that, the right side of the brain sort of ends up becoming passive. It's just, it's just not firing properly. Mm-hmm. So the neurons are supposed to fire at the same rate and it, there's this latency effect. So then what happens because of that, the left side of the body goes weak. Mm -hmm. So there's this just major imbalance. So you're walking around, a lot of people I see, the average person is probably, you know, three quarters, and it's actually getting worse and worse, I'm noticing, up to an inch, inch and a half. I've seen somebody up two inches. So that means their leg's two inches shorter, right hip two inches contracted, you know, the shoulder, same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's that's more so in the big cities too, and it really just shows – how, how much more we are, are um, affected by, you know, stress patterns. Because I do, I've worked all over the world, and, and when I go back to South Africa, um, I, have a, uh, I have a non-profit, sort of an official non-profit, uh, unofficial non-profit called Balance for Africa, where I go and I'll take my portable table and I'll go into these townships and, you know, I'll have 100 people lined up and I'll, and I'll align them all. They don't really know what I'm doing, but they just... Right, but they feel better. Just, they just hear some guy from America is coming in. I put on my American accent, of course. But, um, <laughs> and so, so I work on them, right? Um, the thing that I find very interesting is these are people that don't really have anything, right? They have no money. Um, they live on very little. They live off the land. Uh, you know, they don't have all the cool stuff like we have on iPhones and, you know, cars and blah, blah, blah. Um, and yes, they have stress because they, they, you know, they might not have as much access to food or clean water or whatever we do, but right. they're not, you know, it, it, perception is what drives our health. So their perception is so different to us. And today is actually, this is a perfect example. I'm a very stress-free person. I'm one of the most positive people you ever meet. And I always try to find the positive in everything. And even if something goes wrong, I'll figure out a way in my head, whether it's real or not, I just say, all right. There's a reason for that. I, did, I wasn't able to do that because today that happened. I drove, woke up early morning, drove all the way up to Malibu to go and surf these amazing waves, and um, I got stuck in the worst traffic mm-hmm. possible. The PCH mm-hmm. wasn't moving. And right. it, was, it was a nightmare. And I started actually getting into a foul mood. Right. And my back... Welcome to my commute every day to go yeah. on, on the way to work. Jeez, that's why I live <laughs> right by my office. Um, my back started hurting so badly. Mm-hmm. I had to, I, luckily, my mate was driving. I had to push my seat backwards and lay back because I was, I was getting so frustrated because today was the most epic surf day in LA in right. the years I've surfed here. And it was actually quite interesting that that happened because it's, sometimes it's good for that to happen because it reminds me how important this work is as well. Right. Um, but uh, so, oh, so, so getting back to the South African story. So I just, I noticed that these people, were at most like a quarter or half an inch out of balance, which is very interesting. Even right. when I do the strength test, they had like maybe 30% weakness. Because they have a very sim- their life is simple. Life is they, so they don't simple. have they don't have the it's, worries, perhaps. Yeah. It, it's a different kind of stress. It's, it's a different, and you know, there's, yeah. there's physical stress from injuries, you know, sitting at a computer too much. There's emotional stress is probably that and the chemical stress we deal with are probably right. the worst ones because I feel like sure. the brain knows how to deal with physical stress because it goes okay, you just got hit by a car, this is what you're going to do about it, go into this healing cycle, try to deal with it. Right. Emotional stress is a lot harder because it's all perception. Right. And then chemical stress is tough because it's just getting mm. worse and worse. Yes. These, these, environmental, guys, environmental yeah, these guys back home don't have laptops, they don't have EMFs at their, right. you know, at their ears from their iPhones all day. Right. Um, and GMOs. I mean, yeah. I go back home and I'm driving down the road and I get, you know, my avocados and stuff from people on the side of the street and they're yeah. selling lychees and fruit so and everything at the, at the robot. Yeah, it's very different. So I think that the lack of all of that uh, yeah, to... really helps, really helps them. So we just need to realize that if we want to live in, in a big city, I love LA, but if I'm going to live here, I've got to realize that I've got to take certain steps to protect myself. You know, I have, I have EMF blockers on all my stuff. I have one in my apartment. I have one on my phone and my laptop. And they're amazing. I just, I, cause I just got them through you and I've noticed a really big difference. Oh, good. Already. Yeah. We haven't even spoken about this. Yeah. We ha- yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> the phone doesn't get as hot. Yes. You know, your laptop's not getting as hot in your lap and it's, you been, know, it's been great. I want to, I want to go back to South Africa and to where your story began because your story is so amazing and, and this hour ends up flying by. Yeah. So you grew up in South Africa. Yeah. 
And at a very young age, okay, you, you've been an, an extreme sports enthusiast and an ex, you've been involved in extreme sports your whole life. You were what, a professional skateboarder when you were a teenager. You yeah. literally had sponsorships the whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you've always been, I mean, up at the crack of dawn, wanting to go surfing. I mean, that's always been like a go-to thing for you. So you've always been very active. Yeah, very active. I started, I started at four. My dad is a a real African manly man. He put me in karate at, at the age of four. Oh, and okay. So I the martial got, arts thing started Martial arts too. was my, my big passion, and, and that's that's probably was sort of my calling in terms of what I was going to do f- f- for my future, become mm-hmm. a fighter. Um, and I competed at a national level for eight or nine or ten years or something like that, mm-hmm. um, growing up in South Africa, and uh, and then fell into... It's a long story, but I was kind of pushed out of martial arts just through through an incident that happened. Um, my 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 dad is a minister in South Africa, and one was, with one of the largest yeah, congregations. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, the biggest uh, church in the Southern Hemisphere, in fact. And you were telling me how um, many people come to his services? There was, well, I think like it, it nine thousand. It seated six or seven, but the the size of the congregation, the amount of members or whatever, was like thirty thousand or That's something. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, so I grew up right across the street from that church. Um, and because of that, there was some there was some issues. Some people thought, you know, doing martial arts was was evil and sort of the really? the meditating before and kind of uh, yeah. So it was kind of a discrepancy between tough. religion and that. Yeah, yeah. And and my dad, you know, God bless him, he was um, you know very new in in all of it, and and it was a lot of pressure on him. So that mm. that happened, and and uh, it was unfortunate because it was right when I was kind of peaking, but. Mm. Um, you know everything happens for a reason, so you know you move on. And uh, I found skateboarding, um, started skating, got really got really serious about it, and then like you know got sponsorships and got a salary from this swimming pool company and all this cool stuff, and was was doing commercials and um, like magazine stuff. But you know professional is is relative because when right. I, I, I saw how good I really was when when I was doing demos with the American guys like Tony Hawk and the, all the big boys came over to. Africa uh-huh. and uh, it was doing these demos and that was really humbling. So that's probably <laughs> what that's probably what led me to um, to to music and uh, you started you started music when you were in your dad's um, congregation, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So I I, in, I in remember a, was it a gospel choir? Yeah, yeah. You yeah started well, doing church, gospel? Yeah, okay. I remember watching the drummer in in the church, and he was amazing. Is actually one of the top like session. Our church band was phenomenal. They were, it was packed full of like the best guys in the country. Wow. Um, so this drama just floored me, and, and I just always thought, you know, that would be so amazing to start banging away. So I started taking lessons from him, and one thing led to the other, and uh, music took over from, from skateboarding from there, and, and uh, I got very serious about it and, and um, decided that's what I want to do for a living. So so continued with, with the lessons and then mm-hmm. uh, ended up moving to London, to go to music school, so I went mm-hmm. to full-time music school, and um, yeah, and then ended up moving to San Francisco. Well, moved back to South Africa for a while for a band, then I moved to San Francisco, and um, yeah, and I just continued my music career, and I did that for twelve, about twelve years. Mm-hmm. But yeah, cause... and it was in San Francisco when tragedy struck. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I had um, so when I first, when I was still in South Africa, I was doing well because. It's the sort of big fish, small pond thing. And mm. um, I got my first record deal in a death metal band. Um, <laughs> big difference from gospel. Yeah, which the church loved. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> um, but the, the lyrics were, were quite positive. Um, I know. I'm still waiting for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's called The Death of Africa. <laughs> oh, fabulous. <laughs> um, and so, uh, what happened? Where were we? Oh, so, yeah. So I moved, um, moved to San Francisco. I had I'd come from a situation where I was I was I was pretty no, good I was pretty good at that point because I finished for a, school for a woman. in London. There was a there was a woman. In the I moved yeah, yeah I moved <laughs> for a, a, a this, recall this, that. this beautiful model that floored me. Of course. Um, and so uh, moved, she's from San Francisco and so moved here left my band in South Africa and we were doing really well and I was making good money and all that but I I still really wanted to have that American dream I wanted to be in the next Pearl Jam or whatever you know. Sure. Um, I wanted to push myself because I knew it's just, it's just such a small scene there. Um, so that was humbling as well because getting there meant I had to start get auditioning Stash and moving and my butt. Yeah. You know, it, well, it was no joke. And, and right. started meeting some good people. But in the meantime, I needed money. And so 
I I was actually auditioning for a band and, and I saw at at the music studio I saw an advertisement for motorcycle messengers and I've mm. I've ridden motorcycles since I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. So I thought, okay, good. And of I course did, you did, because what haven't you done? Yeah, then? yeah. So I like you know I like all that stupid stuff. So um, <laughs> so I had, first thing I did, did was bought a bike when I arrived in San Francisco. So I already had the motorcycle. I walked upstairs. Um, I wasn't legal to work yet. Uh, so I was, you know, basically said, well, you know, can I, can I work here? And the guy was like, yeah. So it was kind of out of the table in the beginning. Right. Um, only had a three <laughs> month. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> it's only in a hundred and twenty yeah. countries. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Good. Uh, not in America though, right? <laughs> no. Okay. Good. Um, so I only had a three month visa. And so me and, me and sweet Rolana, we ended up running off to Vegas and getting married so that, you know, we could, we could uh, sort of rush it and, and enable me to stay. Right. Um, I continued with that job for, for two years delivering packages, which was, talk about a stressful job. I think it's rated as one of the most stressful jobs in the world. It's, it's, it's literally pure insanity. It's like being mm. Mad Max on a motorcycle, but in a city. So <laughs> I, had, I had multiple accidents. Yeah. You know, I, had, uh, I won't go into details and all of them, but... One Brutal. of them was, was pretty bad. I got hit by a, a muni bus in San Francisco. Ah. And um, so that's where I broke my back. And, and luckily I was wearing a full racing gear, you know, so I was all puck, uh, cap, like capped on the shoulders and knees and all that stuff. But it was pretty bad. And it was kind of accumulative. My back was getting worse and worse. And then that was like the last straw. And I went to a bunch of doctors. And nobody could really figure out what was going on. It was the same old thing. Just take these, take these, take these. It was all just the know, pain cool pills. Popping. Yeah. Mm. So I did that, whatever, you know. I but it was you had a definitive broken back. Well, I didn't know at that point. I, I had no idea, and even the MRIs were showing like herniation in the in the disc right. and everything. And then I went to you know more of a specialist orthopedist, um, mm. and uh, showed you know really bad herniation, kind of split disc and and a fracture in, mm. in the vertebra. Um, and that just you know it was just this kind. And it, it, I tried everything. I tried literally tried everything, holistic and western. Nothing was working, and after five years of of being and on being a tour, drummer in your back, yeah, I mean, I, was, I can't even imagine. Yeah, I, I, I. So you were touring in. I was in. Yeah, I was touring in bands, bands, and so I'd take my boxing wraps with me <sighs> and a, an ice bucket next to me, a little ice cooler chest, sure. but ice, and then I'd just I'd wrap my back just to get through the show, and then wow. afterwards backstage when people were partying, a lot of times I was just like laid up, just man yeah. down, you know. It was really tough, and I was in my twenties and used to being so active and. I wasn't doing anything then. I wasn't skating. I wasn't wasn't surfing. I wasn't doing martial arts. I was I was I, was, I couldn't do anything. Sure. And it was also a struggle because I'm I'm so obsessed with everything that I do. I was practicing six hours a day on my drums to be the best, and you know that whole nine, that was slowing me down from doing that because I was in agony. Mm-hmm. Um, and then eventually, I found Alphabotics in a pretty interesting way. I owned a house and um, was renovating it for to have a tenant move in. And I, it was up in Malibu, and I spent a year. It was actually so really, you ended up coming back to you ended up coming. Well, I moved to you know, LA. I skipped a, skip past. I was in yeah. San Francisco for five years. And then you had and a second surgery. I had I had my first surgery up there. I had the second surgery down here two yeah. years later because I was in, I, I, the surgery made me worse. Yeah. And I had the cage bolts and everything in my spine. So then I went to another surgeon down here, who's you know is the rock star of surgeons. Um, and, uh, and so he looked at it and said, well, anything I can think is, you know, the hardware is pushing our nerves. Let's get them out. And I thought, great. That makes so much sense. Sure. Did that. Pff, no, Didn't, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Just meant even more recovery. So, mm-hmm. um, so fast forward, then I moved down to LA and I auditioned for that. And so anyway, I, I did the motorcycle gig for two years, but then was lucky enough to meet some big people in the industry and I started getting work and, and my career was doing really well. And I decided to move to LA cause there was more work. San Francisco was going through the whole dot-com industry and it was just kind of collapsing. <clears throat> so I came down here, uh, landed a gig right, sort of as I, as, as I arrived, and, and we did okay and um, uh, still struggling with all the pain. But then, <clears throat> I don't remember exactly what year this was, but um, I was renovating my house for this tenant and this little sweet little old lady, she must have been 75, 80 years old, British lady, uh, she started moving her stuff in. I was a little behind and I was finishing the tile on the floor and she was there moving boxes in and I literally just collapsed. I couldn't feel my leg. My left leg was, I was in excruciating pain. I couldn't stand. And she said, I've got somebody for you. And, uh, and I didn't go because <laughs> I was like, yeah, I've tried yeah, right. I'm trying same to old it, thing. Right. I'm sure people listening are going to go, oh, whatever, I've heard it all. You know? Well, I mean, that, it, I mean that's it what happens. happened, you know, when someone mentioned yeah. you to me, I'm like, what, alphabiotics? Yeah. And then I read your story yeah. and 
I was like, okay, great. I'm willing to try something else. So, yeah. So yeah. finally, so well, she, she mentioned up, it. And so I, I was running behind and her son got angry because cause I wasn't done with the house. So the few boxes she moved in, she moved back out and she bolted out of there. Um, but uh, she called me like four, five, six months later out of the blue and just said, you know what? You beat on my heart and I'm mm. really, I have to know if you went to go and see this guy, Dr. Jack Dunn, who unfortunately has now passed away. In a motorcycle accident. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. Um, oh, so, ironic, yeah, it? yeah. So I said, no, you know, I hadn't gone shit. I'm picking you up. So she drove me all the way from Albi up to Ventura <sighs> and uh, saw him. And what I was an just, angel. Oh, yeah, she's amazing. And, you know, if you're listening, I don't know, even remember your name. It's so sad that I can't oh. remember what her name was because she changed my life and she has no idea. It's, it's oh, crazy. How really um, beautiful. Yeah. Thing. And uh, I was astounded. My first visit, he was explaining stuff to me. And nobody explained that. I had no idea my body was so out of balance. I was so out of whack. And um, the first visit, you know, made a massive impact. My pain levels were way down. Um, the strength came back in my body. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was that. So it really shifted. Yeah, it was huge. It was, it was huge. It was the first time I felt grounded and I could actually stand. When he did the strength test, it was, it was pretty incredible. And so this, so you kind of, you kind of thought, okay, this alphabetics thing might actually, there might be something to this. Yeah, no, I knew. My gut told me immediately that I'd never experienced anything that that instant and that quick. You know, it was, it was, it was real. It was science. It was, it was real. Yeah. So you're, you're thinking this is a life changer, mm -hmm. and yeah. and we're gonna pursue this. Yeah. So he put happened. me on a program. I saw him three times a week for a couple of months, and I lived an hour and a half away from him, but I didn't care. Sure. I drove, well, yeah. yeah I drove After there five back. years of yeah, drove there and back, and 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 just dealt with that, and then and my body just started re literally rebooting, and everything started getting better, and the pain levels were dropping. Um, so I just I just stuck with it, and I just weaned off more and more, and you know, to the point where I was just on like maintenance, and yeah, sort of life changer. Okay, we're going to need to go to break, and we're going to hear more about um, Bruce Wilford's healing journey and alpha biotics. We'll be right back. The minute you walk through the door, you're on your path to wellness. More than just that, the best traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and integrative medicine. The skilled doctors at the Tao of Wellness tap into 38 generations of healing wisdom to give you the ultimate healing experience. Get ongoing support with free lectures, Qigong, nutrition advice, and more. The Tao of Wellness in Newport Beach, the complete healing experience. Visit TaoofWellness.com or call 949-706-7770. Mention HealthyLife.net for a special offer. 949-706-7770. Call now. For all your live or pre-recorded webcasting needs, come to earthchannel.com. Get your web-based message out to a select group or the whole world. It's easy. A pioneer in webcasting, earthchannel.com provides the best products and services to big corporations and government users. And now, the same technology is available to you. They have the best earthcasting coders, servers, and products to meet your technical needs. But wait, don't want to mess with technical stress? No problem. They'll do it for you. EarthChannel.com is your answer. You can use webcasting for lots of things like advertising, marketing, customer support, training, and don't forget web radio and TV. In fact, you're listening to a live EarthCast right now. So come to EarthChannel.com. Actualize your audio or video webcasting needs today. You can't beat the friendly service or the price. Call EarthChannel.com at 800-849-8978. That's 800-849-8978. Visit Jamie's website at holistichealingwithjamie.com. It'll give you all the information you need about Jamie. Discover information on her psychotherapy work to see if she is right for you. Access her blog for great holistic information and stay connected through her social media sites. Holistichealingwithjamie.com is the way to stay connected to Jamie. So stay connected and visit holistichealingwithjamie.com today. Attention Kmart shoppers. Now you get Kmart on HealthyLife.net. Kmart carries over 70,000 items like Martha Stewart's Everyday Products, Apparel by Jacqueline Smith, Joe Boxer, Route 66, Appliances, Jewelry, and more. Everything you need. Plus, you'll get exciting weekly promotions. Go to HealthyLife.net's homepage and click on Kmart. And then you're there. And you even avoided the crowds. HealthyLife.net, the positive radio network.
Welcome back. I'm here with Bruce Fulford, alphabeticist and clinical nutritionist. Just want to give you some social media, website, and contact information. You can find Bruce at www.alphabioticbalance.com. That's the web with the website. Alphabiotic is spelled A L P H A B I O T I C, and that's alphabioticbalance.com. The phone number is four two four two four two eight six zero five. You can also find him on Facebook at Alphabiotic Balance Center, on Twitter at Alphabiotics USA, on LinkedIn at Bruce Fulford. Fulford is F-U-L-F-O-R-D. You can email Bruce at info at alphabioticbalance.com. He has two locations in Los Angeles, one in Venice and one in Hollywood. He makes house calls. He sees top-notch athletes and teams, which we'll get into talking about later. He also has a distance practice, so we'll talk about that. That's with regards to nutrition, and he does those via Skype. So we'll get back, I'm going to get back right back into your story, Bruce. So we were just talking about how you found this healing modality called alphabetics, this woman who you don't even recall her name several years ago, literally said to you, okay, you're going to this guy. She tracked you down six months later. She, you were, she held you in your heart. She knew somehow yeah. intuitively this was going to help you. Yeah, it helped her so much. I mean, the way Clearly, it, must back, have, it must have helped her. The first time she told me about it, she said it, it, it was it unbelievable her life. how much it changed for me. But mm-hmm. I just, I, I was a... I was well, a sure, because people kid. say about, you know, acupuncture, Anything. it worked for yeah. me, or this worked for me, or that sure. worked for me and yeah. you and you would try it at that yeah. point and you had yeah. two surgeries so yeah. Yeah, so she everything. drove you up to ventura yeah you were driving yeah. an hour and a half three times a week to mm-hmm. see this guy yeah it's like for the first two months I, I was really bad so i needed i needed a little bit longer the great thing about this process is it doesn't take that long you know considering how long it takes for your body to unravel you can reboot and reset your body pretty quickly um with the amount of stress that's I'm, I'm under stress constantly physical stress because my spine is fused to my sacrum and I'm very athletic still I surf I do martial arts I'm, I'm you know I'm, uh, it's it's non-stop I work out five days a week I do you know some yoga and just uh, yeah, I'm doing stuff all the time and so the, I, and I play rugby three four days a week um, so that puts a lot of stress on on me and even with that I see the my guy that I see now. I see him once a week, and I'm completely out of pain. I'm I'm 40 years old. I'm in the best shape of my life right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the true testament to this work. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. So at this point, you had found um, a gig with another band in LA. You're but you're getting these treatments, and mm-hmm. you say, you know what? What you, your career total total trajectory change. Um, yeah. At what Actually, point what did happened, you, what happened that was go down? I, I then started getting into music production, producing bands. Mm. I, was a, I was an engineer, and I started doing some television work, mm-hmm. uh, being, a, being an audio mixer. Um, <laughs> one of the gigs was with Playboy, which was hilarious, um, <laughs> Playboy TV. Um, and, uh, yeah, just started getting, I just like control, and I like the production elements and all that, and being involved in writing with bands and sure. playing on different albums and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you know a lot of sitting with that as well. Um, yeah, but uh, so I built this amazing commercial studio in Culver City, spent a lot of money on it. And as soon as I finished building it, I didn't do a single project except some like fun test stuff for myself. I just decided I'm done. I'm moving back to South Africa. So uh, so the landlord loved me, of course, because I left his building and with this beautiful big studio. <laughs> um, and uh, I decided to move back and and. My mom was having a lot of health issues. I'd been away for years and, mm. you know, I'm very close to my family. I was missing them. So I decided to go back and, and just play music and have fun and, and not, uh, not worry about the industry and the stress of LA and the industry here and the pressure of record labels and trying to make everybody happy. I went back home and I know a lot of the, the, the good musicians there. So I went back and just kind of put this little all-star band together of guys in other bands. And we did covers and we were there during the World Cup soccer and we mm. played every night. It was, it was great. And I was making and you really were feeling good money good. and I was feeling good. Mm-hmm. Um, although I was definitely noticing without being, without without being, being aligned, yeah. I was starting to struggle a little bit. Um, and the main thing is with my mom, she has fibromyalgia. She has a lot mm. of stuff. She had, she had a, a really tough upbringing. Um, so a lot of emotional stuff. Um, and I kept finding myself saying, if you could just see Dr. Wright. Now, Dr. Wright, 
um, who has a practice in San Pedro for, for anybody who's down uh, down in this area. He he's, a, he's my mentor. He he was actually best friends with Dr. Jack Dunn. They were both chiropractors back in the day. They found alpha biotics and they stopped chiropractic. They went back to school and and, and became certified alpha biotics and only did that. Mm-hmm. Um, so when is it, and the only school for this is in Texas, in correct? Texas, yeah, in Dallas, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. the alpha biotic academy in Dallas. So um, is is funny because not funny, but just a very selfish situation in a way because I remember the day I called for my appointment to go and see Dr. Dunn, and there was no answer. And I kept calling, and his daughter—I think it was his daughter—that answered and said, "I got really bad news. He's—he's—he he's, he passed away last night in a motorcycle accident." Mm. And immediately we had become pretty close. Like he, yeah. had, he loved music, and he was seeing some big rockers at the time and stuff that you know I was really into. And we had a lot in common: motorcycles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Sure. So I was—I was—I was sad, of course, for losing him, but. Selfishly, I thought, who's going to take care Whoa. of me? Yeah, yeah of I'm, I'm screwed. How am I going to get right. through the day? Come on, like, what am I going to do? She, then she told me about Dr. Wright and said, you know, they went to school together, they're best mm. friends, you're in great hands. I met Dr. Wright and, and uh, we joke, he, he calls me his, his African American son oh, um, awesome. because he's like 75 or 76. He's been doing this work for you know, decades. Mm. And, um, so I was seeing him. Anyway, so I was finding myself telling my mom, if you could, yeah, God, I wish you could see Dr. So Wright. So there aren't any alphabetists in South Africa? No, in no, I'm the, I'm the only one, yeah. So when um, you go back. Yeah, right. yeah, so I see people when I go back there as well. Yeah. Um, and, and then, uh, this is a bit of a long story. It might be too long for already, but I'll cut it really short. I woke up one day and I thought, maybe it's time. He would always say to me, you should do this work. You're so passionate about it. It's made such a big change. And I always thought... I'm not going back to school. I, I went to music school. I spent my whole life becoming, you know, good at what I'm doing. Uh, but I woke up one day in South Africa, and you know, my mom was really bad that day. She was in like bedridden, mm. and uh, I just thought maybe this is what I'm meant to do. You know, mm. maybe that's why I broke my back. That's why I was in all that pain all those years. And that day, I had an apartment who my tenants had left, and my dad had put a, an ad in the paper. That day, I think it was that exact day, my dad said he just got a call from some guy and said. He doesn't want to rent the place. He's in a different city. He, just, he wants to buy it. His daughter's moving to Johannesburg, and he wants to buy it. And I worked out how much money I was going to make, and it was exactly the amount of money for me to go back to, back to America and go through all my schooling. And I was like, done. Done. That was it. I booked my ticket. Wow. I came back to America, went back to school. I did, uh, I did a year, like, internship with, with Dr. Wright, worked in his office with him. Um, and then... Um, Started my practice, and then at the same time, I was also doing schooling in, down in, uh, in San Diego at the Natural Healing Institute doing my clinical nutrition and, and hormones. Um, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, so anyway, so that's the long of it. And, and now I've built, uh, built my practices. I'm, I'm, I'm in my fourth year now. And, um, yeah, it's going amazing, changing people's lives. It feels pretty good. Yeah, and when something impacts you so much and you're so passionate about it, yeah. and it's a true calling. I yeah. mean, clearly, because, I mean, when I met you and had read your story and you started working on me, I mean, I, I know that you're passionate about it and you yeah. work with a lot of top-notch athletes and clearly it's working for them. And we'll yeah. talk about that moving forward as well as the nutrition aspect. So um, we'll be right back with Bruce Wilford and Alphabetics. <laughs> The minute you walk through the door, you're on your path to wellness. More than just that, the best traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and integrative medicine. The skilled doctors at the Tao of Wellness tap into 38 generations of healing wisdom to give you the ultimate healing experience. Get ongoing support with free lectures, Qigong, nutrition advice, and more. The Tao of Wellness in Newport Beach, the complete healing experience. Visit TaoofWellness.com or call 949-706-7770. Mention HealthyLife.net for a special offer. 949-706-7770. Call now. Water. In the hot summer sun, water is a natural thought, like relaxing at the beach with the waves lapping at your feet or perhaps being with your significant other under a secluded, gently cascading waterfall. If you want a little more action, how about water skiing or boating on an icy, clear blue lake? With Expedia.com, everything you need for travel, flights, hotels, cruises, vacation packages, they have it all. At a price you can afford, go to HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on Expedia.com. 
As a holistic licensed marriage and family therapist, Jamie's clients range the gamut from 13 to 63, from eating disorders to chronic illness and everything in between. Her private practice, located in West Los Angeles, is always based on her clients' unique needs and desires. You can find more information about Jamie at holistichealingwithjamie.com and feel free to call Jamie for a free 15-minute assessment at 310-968-8974. That's 310-968-8974. Get your moto going at the Motorola store online. Visit the HealthyLife.net advertiser page, click on Motorola, and you'll discover a whole new world of phones. Plus, you can get great deals on phones with or without contract. That's great, Moto. And don't forget, they even have Bluetooth and other phone accessories. But that's not all. Want more Moto? Motorola has home and office phones and two-way radios. And for the best Moto ever, Motorola has great specials right online. Go to the HealthyLife.net advertiser page and click on the Motorola banner now and get your moto going. Radio your way. HealthyLife.net So we're back with uh, Dr. Bruce Wolford, and we're talking about the uh, alphabetic alignment process, which I wish, this is yet again one of those shows which I wish there was a physical, because you have your table here, and I wish we could just show people aligning me and the difference it makes and the balance, but... I'll have to just come in and see me. Yeah, I'll just have <laughs> to come see you. And your distance practice, there, there's a way that you can actually do alignments in a, in a way that is very metaphysical, which we can talk about moving forward. But I want you to share the story that you shared at the, at the break. What, what, thing, what happened with your mom? You brought your mom to Los Angeles. Yeah, so, so as I said before, you know, I was inspired by my mom's issue, and I really thought that if I could do this work, I could maybe help her because she was getting no help. She was, you know, just, just yeah, the usual stuff. Um, so once I was finished with school, as soon as I was done, I flew her over here to stay with me for two weeks. I worked on her every day for two or three Three, two or three times a day, I believe. Um, she, when she got off the plane, she was a mess. She could barely walk. In fact, she was struggling to walk down the hallway. She gets such mm-hmm. bad. She gets her vertigo. She's all over the map. She can't even stay. It's, it's so heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. I was living in the marina, and there was a six-story lookout tower that looks over Santa Monica, Hollywood, everything. So it's, it's a pretty steep trek. Um, by the time she left, she was walking up and down there on her own, and uh, it, it was unbelievable to think that. I mean, the first time I aligned her, she cried. She cried for like ten minutes. She was, mm. It was such an emotional release, release for her. Sure. Physically, she felt better. Her migraines were so bad she couldn't see that within the first two or three days, those were gone. I mean, it, it's astounding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the thing that it can it help. It can help with things. I mean, we can. There's a litany of things. Oh, with yeah. migraines, TMJ. TMJ, digestion issues, knees. Mm-hmm. Plantar fasciitis, you know, I align people that come in with that and they're so skeptical because they're thinking, well, aren't you going to dig something into my foot? Right. I align them and all of a sudden their feet are tingling. And, and mm-hmm. that's just, that's the thing about this work is I don't treat, heal, cure, I don't have to do any of that. The body. I, the body is designed mm-hmm. to, it, we self healers, you know, and it's, it's essentially like we work like a computer. You hit the, you know, you, you reboot a computer, it'll do a systems check and it knows what to do. Same as us. So your brain is way more intelligent than I am. All I have to do is just hit that reset button and allow you to do what you're supposed to do. And that's why your hip drops and your leg drops and all these symptoms can drop, you know, and your strength comes back substantially. So I work with all these athletes and some of the best rugby players and fighters and stuff in the world and and it's incredible how much more explosive they are you know they i show them how we fighters especially it's a great example i have them hit a bag most people are weak on their left side of their body because they left brain right so Mm -hmm. the right brain's passive the left brain's the left side of the body is not working properly there's there's that imbalance right and i and I'll, i'll have them hit a bag with that jab hand of theirs and there's just there's no punch to it. I align them, and all of a sudden that snap comes back. It's it's incredible. And same with the rugby players. Just explosiveness, movement. You know, it's it's great. And you literally you do house calls. Mm-hmm. Um, you also house travel calls. around the world with these athletes. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've been yeah, you've I've been, been doing that. I've been for... doing some trips to Australia, and mm-hmm. uh, last year I was lucky enough to go with a rugby team. We went all over Europe and 
I worked on them. That was really fun. Uh, South Africa, of course. And you work with tennis players. Yeah, I worked with some of the best tennis players. Yes. Yeah, so it's some really, really helpful people. for, I mean, every golfers, <laughs> mm-hmm. golfers, especially sports like tennis and golf, where you right. overstressing one side of the body constantly, Which and you just and you're not using that. You're not swinging a golf right. club, alternating, and you're not exactly. playing tennis alternating. It's devastating on the body. I mean, and I, I had no idea, having played the way cool. at the level I played as a kid for like 15, yeah. 20 years, I had no idea idea that that would have affected my body the yeah. way it has now. Can you imagine, in hindsight, go back and think about if you were completely balanced where everything is firing equally, how right. much more explosive you'd be? Yeah. You know? Vision. People tell me they can see signs better from on the freeway. You know? Well, you know, that's interesting because I recently had an optometry appointment. My vision is better than it was. There you go. Who knows? That's not me. <laughs> it's all you. <laughs> it's fascinating, though. I mean, because yeah. I'm like, well, how did that happen? Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not touching your eyes. Interesting. <laughs> Amazing, right? Yeah, who yeah. knew? Yeah. So as a clinical nutritionist, mm-hmm. as use that and you also use biokinetics as an adjunct, and I kind of yeah. want to talk about both of those. Sure. What, what, what are, how does that work with your practice? And yeah. I know you do these, that clinical part, the clinical nutrition part is as a distance practice, which means you have Skype sessions with people from all over the world. So yeah. those people who are listening who are interested in this, please Check out Bruce's website again. It's um, what is this, well, the website again? Because Alpha every- Biotic, no Balance. S, just Alpha Biotic Balance dot com. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Distance is great because obviously it allows people to see me that you know that aren't nearby. Um, the the clinical nutrition part. I, I I you know I just think that there's no one thing that's going to take care of everything. You know. Um, and as I've grown in in this healing world. Um, I've realized that, and that's why I was really passionate about doing that. But um, I noticed that, you know, people with weight issues and, and uh, you know, poor energy or lack of creativity or any of this stuff, and, yeah, the, the, the alignments help with all of that because you, our adrenals are so under the pump all the time with, with our stress, so the, our cortisol levels drop dramatically once I align them, mm-hmm. which is great. But there's other ways to support that. So, you know, I work with a lot of people, of course, ma- mainly women in terms of hormones. So as a naturopath, you know, it's all bioidentical plant-based hormones and see life-changing results. Um, weight loss, um, you know, I'm, I'm all about pH balancing. I believe that, you know, if we can have a good alkaline, oxygenated environment, that we can flourish, you know, and, and live at our full potential because we just... The truth is we're putting crap in our bodies every day, you know, and people think it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay, you know. We, I, you know, I'm all about balance, and I like to have fun, and I like to have beers with the boys, and I'm still human. I'm still the same person, but I, my theory is 80-20. 80% of the time, whenever you put something in your body, think about feeding your cells, mm-hmm. right? So you mm-hmm. can stay young and look good for the rest of your life. Well, the, the other 20% of the time, yeah, you can abuse it a little bit. I don't think it's the end of the world. I also, there's also a theory which I, I kind of believe is true is don't overdo it. Make sure you do have balance because if you go crazy and you cut out everything in life that you like, the guilt involved and, and the feelings involved can actually have more worse stress. Worse exactly. stress and where's the pleasure? Putting, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so make sure you have balance. And yeah. Have, deprivation have is days. never. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. From a psychological so, standpoint, that doesn't really. No, totally. Exactly. <laughs> get you anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just balance. So, you know, good nutrition. I use herbs and everything and, and I see where imbalances are and I use applied kinesiology and I look for for imbalances in people's different organ systems and everything, and and uh, work with a couple of labs for hormonal stuff, um, and uh, and go from there. And then and then you mentioned the biokinetics. Biokinetics is another thing that I studied. Yeah, which we both call the thingy. The thingy. Yeah. Yeah. What is, well, what, I think you what call is, it the thingy. But well, yeah. <laughs> what is the thingy called? Actually, it's, uh, for it's called the, the Newsom device. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Newsom was the guy that developed biokinetics, and, um, and it's kind of like bio-kinetic? an activator. Yeah. It's this little, looks like a little pen. It's like a little clicker. Yeah, like um, a thingy clicker. Yeah, a little thingy clicker, and. Um, and We're gonna have to come back it, in a few minutes. Yeah. It. it's called the. It's an activator. It's called yeah, the Newsom like device. Act- yeah, exactly. And it works on phys- physical, emotional, chemical EMFs. It works on allergies, uh, depression, all sorts of stuff. Like it, it, you can really break different, you know, patterns. Yeah, patterns in your in your brain or body or whatever. Which I can go more into in the next segment. Okay, if you want. we'll come right back and talk more about the thingy, aka the activator, the Newsom device. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
As a holistic licensed marriage and family therapist, Jamie's clients range the gamut from 13 to 63, from eating disorders to chronic illness and everything in between. Her private practice, located in West Los Angeles, is always based on her clients' unique needs and desires. You can find more information about Jamie at holistichealingwithjamie.com and feel free to call Jamie for a free 15-minute assessment at 310-968-8974. That's 310-968-8974. These shoes are made for walking, jumping, running, and just plain style. Over 32,000 styles. Skechers, an award-winning global leader in lifestyle footwear. And now you can get Skechers without walking, jumping, or running. You can get them by clicking. Scroll down HealthyLife.net's homepage and click. You can check out Skechers, high-quality shoes in styles for men, women, and children. So get in style. Get Skechers today and start walking, running, jumping, and strutting in style. Visit Jamie's website at holistichealingwithjamie.com. It'll give you all the information you need about Jamie. Discover information on her psychotherapy work to see if she is right for you. Access her blog for great holistic information and stay connected through her social media sites. Holistichealingwithjamie.com is the way to stay connected to Jamie. So stay connected and visit holistichealingwithjamie.com today. If you like to spend your television viewing time learning about some of the things that you may have missed in history class, or if history was your favorite subject, then you should check out the link to the History Channel on the HealthyLife.net advertiser page. Order DVD sets by series or by subject matter right from our homepage while you still enjoy your favorite HealthyLife.net show. HealthyLife.net, where positive overcomes negative. Welcome back. So we're talking about um, the activator, the Newsom device in biokinetics and how that works as an adjunct with the alphabetic alignment process. And I've had this done, and you were describing how it, what exactly does it do? It, yeah, I, I notice a difference, but I don't really understand what yeah, it's Yeah, the, the, the thing that drew me to it, that made me want to study that as well as an addition, is just um, the philosophy is the same as alphabetics. It's basically reset patterns so that you can go back into a healing cycle. So it works physically, emotionally, chemically, all that stuff. So so I might have this maybe somebody that has some serious fear or anger issues or whatever it might be. Do you have it in your back? Um, let's have a look. <laughs> I know you usually have it in that pocket. <laughs> I think it might be in my office. Oh, okay. No, I have it. Okay. Why? You want to play with it? Yeah. I'll let, <laughs> let them hear what it sounds like. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's like a little time. Um, so let's say so let's say somebody has some emotional issue from from when they were a kid or fear or anger, whatever it might be. Um, I'll have them sort of get into that frame of mind, think about that issue, and then their body will go weak. So applied kinesiology allows us to see weaknesses in the body. So right. as soon as you think of that negative thought, you go weak. Then I have then this specific trigger points in the back of the head that I'll that I'll work on and then the body will go strong I'll have them think about it it'll go weak strong and then until it doesn't go weak anymore essentially so you're resetting until it doesn't happen you can do that with right. allergies you can do it with uh, EMFs you can do it with anything physical stuff I use on my athletes a lot that might have you know knee issues or whatever and just try to just bring stability and strength so those muscles are firing again it's, right it's we tested kind of it you tested it on me with the, um, the EMF patches um, on and not on the phone it was amazing Incredible. how much stronger my yeah oh, yeah yeah you guys are listening at home you can grab your cell phone and you have somebody muscle test the opposite arm of the phone that you're holding, test before and feel where your strength is at, then put the phone in the other hand and then test, and you'll see you'll go weak. Um, so I you know, highly suggest you. You can also contact me if you want to know about EMF blockers. Um, I don't sell them, but uh, I can, I can you know, have access to them. I can get them or, or, or at least tell you where to or whatever. So um, Bruce is going to give us an overview of, his vision of his practice and and what it means to him. Um, Just so you know, again, the best ways to reach him are through his website, alphabioticbalancecenter.com. Alphabioticbalance.com. I know, I keep doing that because the other thing, because your Facebook is Alphabetic Balance Center. No, it's it's not. 
Stuff about balance as well. It is? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Katrina. Katrina. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. That's my that's, assistant. We yeah, love she, she's that's amazing. what she sent me. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we love you, Katrina. <laughs> um, the email is info at alphabeticbalance.com. Um, and the phone number, 424-242-8605. Mm-hmm. So your overall... So, yes, yeah, so the reason why I've got all this uh, stuff, it started with the alphabetics and, and I've brought more and more things in. Also, partially just because I love learning. Um, I'm constantly learning. I study. I research all the time. Um, but I wanted to just develop a full wellness, which is what I'm working towards now. I'm bringing other practitioners in and other nutritionists and you know, maybe other modalities as well. But I, I just wanted to develop a, a sort of a go-to wellness center, which I believe people can come to me and kind of take care of most things um, as a preventive system. <clears throat> so the the way I see it, it's kind of like if you if you have a business, you have a warehouse, um, and then you have all these different departments in the warehouse. I look at the alphabetic alignment as the most important part. That, that powers on the warehouse. If you can't power it on, it's going to be really hard for everybody to work in the dark. Um, and then all these other departments, you know, need need attention here and there too, which could be like a different organ system. So that would represent the, you know, the hormones and the nutrition and, and, and all that stuff. So, you know, I think, um, like I said, nothing on its own is going to take care of everything in life. But I really believe that the system that I've developed, well, I haven't developed, but this sort of system that I'm using, the, the marriage of systems that I've developed, is uh, is pretty unstoppable and uh, pretty well, proud to be per, here. And let me just interject one second. Not only did you break your back and then mm, found please. this, <laughs> two years a into year this, a year ago, yeah. so two years into working, a year ago, yeah. you broke your neck surfing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had, yeah, a freak accident. And you didn't even know it was broken, yeah. but you had Dr. Wright or another one of your yeah, practitioner Sean, friends work so on you. Yeah, Sean Bounty, who also works at Dr. Wright's office on, on alternate days. So those, those are my go-to guys and I see them and Sean, Sean watches my practice when I travel internationally. He's amazing as well. Um, so through alphabetics, you were able to not have, I mean, a broken neck is pretty freaking yeah, serious. <laughs> yeah. When I went to my neurologist, um, he, we did the x-rays and, and you know, it was, it was my atlas and axis. Uh, atlas is basically collapsed. It broke in two places and then the axis as well. Um, and, you know, alternatively, you, you get the halo screwed into your head and I just think that's ridiculously barbaric. So I chose not to do that. I wore a C collar for about for six weeks and, and, and actually did the biokinetics. Mm-hmm. I got aligned right in the beginning before I knew it was right. broken, right. which it actually ended up being a really good thing. I wouldn't recommend it, but it was because it was so freshly broken, but it worked sure. out great. I mean, the neurologist, when he looked at the x-rays, he couldn't believe how clean the brakes were and how perfectly the atlas had come back to it. And I think that that's because of, of how well the spine would, decompresses right. through, and the, which through you'd, the alignment. And everything you'd been doing leading up to it. And, and I had sure. seen Sean, the, the, it happened on the Thursday. I saw Sean the evening of the Wednesday. He aligned me. So if I was going to break my neck, it was the perfect time. <laughs> I, I honestly was, I was in such perfect alignment when it happened. I head butted the bottom of that ocean. Oh, but, God. But uh, it, it, yeah, it came out pretty good. And I have a high pain tolerance, so for three weeks I didn't even know it was broken, and I played rugby and stuff, which is stupid. But um, so I started doing biokinetics. Uh, yes, we do not recommend these things at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> eh, eh. Um, and that's but if you do, this is the person to come to to get healed. <laughs> yeah, that's what actually started me. That's what made me want to study the biokinetics technique as well, because it, it's a very low impact. It's just a little clicker, and and it was actually allowing me to get some more movement in my in my neck. So then, I, once I was feeling better, I started studying it. Um, but yeah, then I was getting a lot by by the six weeks. Started getting light alignments. Then I got deeper and deeper alignments, and uh, I'm 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 ready. I'm like I said, I'm 40, and I'm ready to. I think well, you're I, doing I'm, I'm about ready to fight together. again. Yeah, that's what I know. We were talking about it the other day. Um, and I have a trainer. I have an, I'll do a little shout out for him. He has a he has a method called rugby method. His name his name is Mark Stabini. He's an ex star rugby international rugby player, and he's been training me. and And I've built so much so much more muscle since I've been working with him. and And uh, if you want any info on, on him, you should definitely hit me up. He's he's in LA. He's incredible. Um, and like, and that just again goes to my point. You know, you've got to you've got to attack things on all ends. You've got to work out. You've you know, do yoga, meditate. You know, eat well. Mind, body, your, spirit. Yeah, what you put into your connected. body, what's around your body, yeah. the EMFs. Yeah. And so you were you were gonna need to wrap up in a few minutes. You mm-hmm. said you were wanting to talk about something about perception and Bruce Lipton. You oh yeah, that. yeah. We were mentioning that. Um, one of the things I studied was uh, just perception in when I was at, at alphabetic school. Mm-hmm. I had to do like a little mini thesis on it, and uh, somebody I just have so much high respect for. I haven't got to meet him yet, but I'd love to meet him. His name is Dr. Bruce Lipton. 
great first name, by the way. Um, <laughs> probably doesn't have the accent though. Um, he, so his whole thing is the biology of belief or the biology of perception and, and please, they're all over YouTube. Go on there and this, this stuff can change your life because it, it takes you out of victim mode because we, it's just a pathetic excuse. You know, we all think, well, I'm, I'm going to get cancer because my mom had cancer or I'm diabetic because my, it's, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. You know, yeah, genes come into play, but you can't, you can't live in that, that fear because fear is going to create acidity. Acidity is going to create inflammation. All of that's going to create disease and then eventually you get it and then all then you blame it on your family it's I, I just i can't buy into that i don't think that that we you know there's no mistakes in nature you know we do we develop pretty well if you look at us down to a cellular level we're pretty we're pretty amazing so um check him out anyway it's too too much to go into but check him out and i think it'll give you some uh, so a little bit of hope on your health so to wrap us up Take us out the last minute. Um, alphabetics, in a nutshell, um, it changed your life. Yep. You're changing others. How it's balanced. It's balanced. It's reducing stress. And, and, and what else would you like to to, to leave? Yeah, uh, essentially that that's what it is. Is 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 it takes the guessing game out of it. We know that 80 to 90 percent of of diagnoses are wrong. So this takes the guessing out. Reboot the brain. Let the brain do what it's supposed to do, and that's heal. And and it knows exactly what the problem is. So it's going to find the issues. Um, it's it just it resets the nervous system. The nervous system then deals with the muscles and the cells and the tissue and bone and everything. So, yeah, it's changed my life and it can change your life as well. Thank you so much, Bruce, for being on. It's definitely helped me tremendously. And yeah, um, you're going to do an adjustment for me in the other room as soon as we wrap alignment. up. <laughs> an alignment. Yeah. It's not. A, it's an alignment, not yeah, an adjustment. We call it alignment. You know. Oh, yeah. It's 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 since it was developed by chiropractors, so that there's a definitive yeah. difference. Yeah. So sorry, yeah, not, an alphabetic. You know, an alphabetic often, alignment. Yeah, there's often a, uh, that question of is it yeah. this, is it? No, I'm not. I'm not a licensed chiropractor. Right. We, we, uh, the school is separate. We license. So thank separate. you. I see. I made that yeah. mistake on purpose no, no, so you could does. make yep. that. You're welcome. That did that definitive yeah. uh, difference. Yeah. I really appreciate you being here, and yeah, um, so please check out um, Bruce's website to learn more about alphabetics. I think this is something that people need to learn more about, and I think there will be more and more practitioners moving forward into the so. future. I hope so too. And uh, thanks for listening, and we'll be back next month with Mara Berkman-Landis and Do Your Homework. Cheers, guys.